When arranging business interruption insurance, many businesses will insure for 12 months, underestimating recovery time in the event of major loss. Often, this isn't enough. Let's create an example. Shop the Lot is a homeware manufacturer trading from a 1980s industrial park. They suffer a fire, causing interruption to their services. After reporting the claim to their insurance broker, forensic experts determine the cause. The investigation and claim acceptance took three months. Complete demolition was avoided. However, the structural steels were affected more than anticipated, resulting in the construction specifications being sent out to tender. Unfortunately, their rebuild approval wasn't straightforward. Changes were required due to a neighboring housing development that had been built since the construction of the units. Despite tenders being received, reviewed and accepted by the end of month 7, building works could not be scheduled until planning was approved. Once approved, building works began and took 6 months to complete. If they had a 12-month indemnity period, the insurers would have stopped paying by now, leaving shop the lot to pay the rest. This is where businesses can run the risk of failing, as they can't financially cover the loss. Whilst practical completion was achieved 15 months post-fire, it took an additional 7 months to fully recover. The insurance will provide cover for loss of gross profit until the gross profit is no longer affected by the incident. Gross profit is not just affected by the time it takes to replace physical property, but also the time it takes the business to fully recover. At Aston Lark, we recommend our clients to opt for a period of at least 24 months. However, there are many other factors that need to be considered, which may mean a longer indemnity period is advised. Contact our insurance specialists today to review your business interruption insurance.